it is kind of a trait of successful captains that they're able to recognise their own strengths but also their own weaknesses and also the importance of having a group around them, your teammates and everyone. It's, I'm a big fan of knowing why someone's there, not just what value that they're going to add to them, whether they're really fast or whatever, but why they're there, what's making them tick. Yes, they want to play for Ireland, but why? And I think if you get that from them, you're able to kind of tick into them a little bit more. And normally people are there for similar reasons. Um, and, it, and again, it's not just about our squad. You know, with the Irish team, women's team back then, our family were so close to it all because for many years, they were the only ones at games. So they got to know each other really well as well. So they were like, you know, our off-pitch team that went around matches together and stuff. So family were really, really important. And you can't do, you can't play international rugby and hold down a job unless you're really supportive family and friends and work colleagues. You just can't. Like, you know, at 34, my mom was doing my washing and my shopping, like, because that allowed me to go training in the morning, to go to work and go training in the evening. And unless you've those really good people, both in your squad and then at home, it just it's, it doesn't happen.